Good morning, afternoon. I'm recording this in the morning. You're watching it in the afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. So this afternoon, we are going to be mixing art and social studies a little bit. And I'm pretty excited about this project because uh, this is one of my favorite Northern Canadian artists. And I think what's really cool about this gentleman's work is that there's such high contrast, but also a lot of simplicity. So they're really easy to kind of do um, art that's inspired by him. And it's also really neat to kind of bring out the uniqueness of the North with his art. So we're going to take a little look today uh, at the artwork of a man named Ted Harrison. Now, part of also why I love Ted Harrison so much is because he's illustrated a few poems that are really great poems. They're a little bit too dark for grade two, so I'm not going to read them to you, but perhaps you'll get to investigate them uh, maybe in grade five. I know the grade fives kind of take a look at this as well because they have an Arctic region unit. So, uh, we'll take a look at these books and we'll kind of talk a little bit about his pictures and then I'll walk you through a art project that we're going to do that's inspired by Ted Harrison. So I have here two books that are illustrated by Ted Harrison. Uh, and so you'll see right off the bat. These front covers are pictures by Ted Harrison. And like I said, you can see a lot of contrast. We have a lot of warm and cool colors right against each other. And you can also see simplicity. So for example, in this book, we can see we've got some warm and cool colors. So the sky is very warm. Remember our warm colors are reds and oranges and yellows. So we see those here and they're contrasted against the blues and the greens and the purples of this part. And then we also have some warm colors here that are uh, also contrasting against these hills or these mountains. So uh, Ted, Har Ted Harrison art is a lot of landscapes uh, oftentimes, but he also does some other pictures. Um, this one at the, the front cover of this book, what we have is the contrast between um, obviously like the sky and the ground here and then these buildings that are a little bit warmer. So let's take a look at some of the pictures from this book. So you can see that Ted Harrison draws a lot of lines. So through the sky he has lots of lines and then within that it's it's one color so here's a line right there's a little bit there and then um so he kind of mixes those similar shades together puts them next to each other uh to to be very artistic here so here's some warmer colors and cooler colors you can kind of see how his drawings are simplistic he doesn't have the details of these animals but he does have them drawn in there. Again, this is the one from that front cover and I absolutely love this one. You can see the lines that he's done. This is classic, classic Ted Harrison, I think. So you've got the lines and this contrast that you see here and then these hills. So this is going to be quite similar to kind of the approach that we're going to take on our project. It will look similar to this one. Kind of get an idea. This one here too, look at those lines that he has in the sky, right? And the lines that are across here. Just very simple, but also very bold and very eye-catching. And so Ted Harrison, he uh, lived in Canada for part of his life. He also lived in some other areas, but when he lived in Canada, he lived in the Yukon. And he noticed, oh, this is another great one. Look at that sky. That's amazing. 
So he lived in the Yukon, which is not none of it, like we are talking about, but it is north. And so there are a lot of similarities with the tundra. The landscape is very, is very similar. Um, some of the ways of life are similar. And so when he lived there, he noticed that these landscapes were very different from some of the things that we see elsewhere in the world. And so he wanted to capture that with paintings and with pictures. So that's what he's done. And just those wild skies. I think that's the, the neatest piece. And we've talked about the Northern Lights. And so we, it's kind of representative of that a little bit with those lines across the sky and the bold colors. So that's one of his books. And again, this front cover picture, I think that that's just absolutely beautiful. And we'll come back to this as we work on our pictures. So I'll take a look. We'll flip through this book and see some of the pictures that we have here. Again, these stories are, the, they take place in the North as well too. So again, there's that front cover picture. That contrast that you see, look at the contrast there to the door. This one has a few more inside, maybe a few more details. I think there comes to be some where he's, look at this one, look at that sky, kind of representing the Northern Lights, the lines that go across here. So you can kind of get an idea of what Ted Harrison's art is like. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that sky. My goodness. So see how he has different oranges. He kind of starts out with red here and he kind of goes with the shades to the yellow to where it gets lighter. You can see the same thing here with these pinks. Just getting a little bit lighter as he goes or a little bit darker depending on the way that you go to bring that sky about. All right, so that's a great one there too with that sky. All right, so we are going to get started on our art today. So what you're going to need is a blank piece of paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and then you'll need something to do some coloring with. Uh, perhaps you'll use crayons or markers. If you have paint at home and you would like to paint, you could do paint. Maybe you have pastels. There's lots of different things. We want to really get those bold colors. You'll also probably need, uh, or you may want a black marker to kind of do some outlining. And then you also have a piece of gray paper that was sent home. So our Ted Harrison inspired art is going to look a little bit different because we're going to do the background very Ted Harrison inspired. And then we are going to create an Anukshuk to lay in the foreground of our picture. So that is what that gray paper was sent home for so that you can um, use that to create your Anukshuk. So you'll also need your scissors for that and a glue stick. All right, so I am going to pause this and we'll get ready to start. I'll let you get some supplies. You can pause your video and then we'll get ready to start on our art project. Okay, I'm going to start by drawing some wavy lines across my paper. And uh oh, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Lovely. Hopefully, it will get itself figured out. And I'm going to start kind of high along the sides and go down a little bit towards the middle. Kind of like those hills that we see, kind of like this, that we're seeing in this, in this picture. Um, so I'll start and, you know, they definitely don't need to be perfect. Maybe they're going to be a little bit closer together in some spots, further apart in others. That is a-okay like this. Maybe I'm going to do some that go straight down like that. All right. 
So I'm going to do some horizontal, kind of wavy-ish lines across the paper. Doesn't matter how many you do. So this is going to be like the ground in my picture. And now I'm going to do my either sunrise or sunset, my sky. So I'm gonna start kind of in the middle here and draw sort of the sun. So kind of like how he's got the sun in the middle-ish here. That's what I'll be looking for. And I'm just gonna kind of move like this, I think. And then I'll do some wavy lines out from that. Kind of like that. So now you can see here would be the ground and up here is the sky. So now once I have my lines drawn, it's time to do my coloring. So I'm going to use cool colors for the ground. I'm going to use warm colors for the sky. So remember cool colors are blues and greens and purples and warm colors are yellows and reds and oranges. So I'm going to grab my colors. I'll get, let you, give you some time to pause it, grab your colors as well, and then we'll, <clears throat> we'll continue together. Okay, so I'm using markers for mine. I've selected my colors, and now I'm going to color. And I'm going to start with the brightest yellow in the middle like this and then I'm going to go more orange and then more red as I kind of move out so started with this yellow and some of my colors there's not a huge difference in between so sometimes maybe you want to do two lines of the same color if you don't have a lot of different ones that's okay so now I'm going to go, this one is very similar to the last one I just used. There's not a huge difference as you can see, but that's okay. And I'm not too worried about those pencil lines because I have my black marker, so I'm going to go over them in black after this. Now, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. If we look at Ted Harrison's artwork, he doesn't always have the black lines that go through it, but I think that it definitely helps kind of make things a little bit more bold. So if you're wanting to, go for it. Okay, so as you can see, those colors are very, very similar. Now I have more of an orangish orange-ish shade here. There we go. Look at that. You can really tell the difference now. Now sometimes we see in Ted Harrison's art, he will start with light, go dark, and then end light again. So you could also do that. All right, so I'm going to keep coloring. I'll pause the video and you want to continue coloring as well and I'll see you after we have our sky all colored. <laughs> 